What's going on guys? Merrick here. Last week we covered all of the maps for the classic Battlefront 1 game, went over their layouts and talked strategy for each of the various factions. This week we'll be talking about the maps in Battlefront 2, going over the changes to the maps that have come from the first game, discussing strategies for the new maps that are new to the second game, and going over various strategies for each faction on each map. The Renvar Citadel returned to Battlefront 2 via DLC on Xbox Live. The map itself hasn't changed at all. The spawn points, however, have. The Empire and the Clones now spawn at the Courtyard, while the Rebels and the Droids spawn at the Observatory. The Crypt, the Terrace, the Ruins, the Watch, and the Keep are all neutral as they were in the first game, and the Keep is still the most important command post for you to keep. When playing as the clones and the Empire specifically, I like to play as the Engineer on this map because it's the only map where you get to see the AT-AT -AT pilot outside of Hoth and Renvar, and on those maps you should be in the AT-AT -AT anyways, or an ATSD. So it's just nice to see every once in a while. This is a different design. It's like the TIE Fighter, but white, so I really like it. Uh, always make sure you take the Keep command post first because it is the most important command post. Totally stole my kill there, dude. Uh, they're going to come at the keep from all different directions. They'll come up here from the observatory command post. They'll also come up here from uh, the crypt. It looks like they've taken the ruins, which is the other command post you want to hold on to up here. Uh, the watch is not really as important of a command post. Uh, it's kind of off on its own, whereas the rest of the command posts do all kind of eventually loop back into each other. You have to be careful, though, because if you stay out of the keep for too long, the enemy will get up here and take it from you. We left just long enough to try and take the ruins. I cannot believe that Wookiee lived. We got right in his face. There we go. So they did not actually succeed in taking this command post from us. They did almost succeed in taking our life, though. We'll go ahead and repair the health and ammo droids. Uh, we've pretty much got every command post on the map now. The crypt is going back to their favor. The ruins, nobody has touched since we uh, quickly fled to be able to secure the keep. That went all above his head. That was actually pretty wild. So it does appear that they have some other troops going up the upper walkway. I'm going to go ahead and get pack this turret because I don't like it. And they appear to be taking the keep yet again. <sighs> Even with playing our asses off, we are definitely uh, on the losing end of this battle. Not by a whole lot, but by 10. 10 is a good margin. 10 can make the difference. Uh, just make sure you never lose this command post and you'll be fine. It may actually be more beneficial to just kind of camp at this command post. And give you the option to kill any enemies that walk up into it. Like I said, the... Uh... Fuck, that was close. The ruins over there. One of our team already took it. It's not really that beneficial and doesn't do a whole lot, but I'd rather have it than not. The thing that I do hate when playing as the engineer, though, is that I don't have I don't have access to a pistol, so enemies in turrets are. Uh, they're out of they're out of reach for me. I can't do anything about that. Whew. Trying to hold down the terrace. The terrace doesn't really have a whole lot of strategic value. Uh, it just happened to be. The closest command post that I wanted to take, the observatory is even worse of a command post to worry about. And to be quite honest, it doesn't... It might actually be 
the second worst command post outside of the crypt, which looks like they took the keep. Damn. The crypt is down there and just does nothing for you. There's no reason to take that command post unless um, there's no other command post to take. We've taken the keep back, so that's nice. But they're keeping the lead, and that's that's not that's not what we want to see. This is one of my all-time favorite maps, but holy hell, it feels like you have to be about as aggressive as can be. Who the hell threw a grenade? That must have been my ally. Because I can't throw grenades. The... The reinforcement count is constantly going back and forth. Now we have the lead again, only by three, because there's not much left to have the lead of. No, no. Every day. There is only two of them left, and they are still fighting to take the keep. This is one of the most chaotic maps, I think, in the entire game, and I absolutely love it. You've also got the option to play as the sniper, spawn at the courtyard, and if you want to, run all the way up the stairs, all the way up these stairs. Oh, there's some more stairs. More stairs. And then you're finally at the top. I, <laughs> I don't know that I rec would recommend this command post and this strategy. If you're good at sniping and if you're patient enough, then maybe I'd recommend it. You've got a pretty good view of the terrace. You can do some sniping there. Um, you can see the rebels over in front of the keep. You can see them in the... Are they taking? Yep. I'm trying to take the watch. You can see over there. They have the ruins over there. Oh, that should have been a shot. It's all right. I mean, you got some decent vantage points, but there's so much that happens on this map. And, oh, nope, that's an alley. I'm not patient enough to snipe on it. Um, surely I'll snipe on some other maps, but this is just not one that I'll, <laughs> I prefer to snipe on, especially with how fast stuff progresses on this map. It just It's so easy to lose the lead that I don't want to be the reason that we lost it. When playing as the Rebels and the Droids, I would run straight up this back hallway, these back stairs, and take a right to go straight towards the keep. I wouldn't worry about the crypt at all, as I've said every time I've discussed Renvar Citadel. The crypt is the most useless command post in the game, and it's absolutely atrocious to even bother with. If you get up here fast enough, you can get up here before the enemy faction does, and attempt to take the command post or at the very least delay them from taking it uh, just always make sure you stay close enough for it to oh 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 i i forgot uh i forgot i was playing as rebels so you want to be sure to always be close enough to take the command post and this isn't this is a more interesting uh approach because they went ahead and took the keep while while they were up here, they took the ruins. So taking the keep is now going to be hard. Holding on to the keep is going to be harder to do. I keep saying keep a lot. Um, however, them having the watch kind of makes things a little easier for you. Because it does mean that you can just sit here and kill them from the stairs. You don't have to worry about... You don't have to worry about getting up close and personal. You can kind of funnel them up to the keep. It's 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 a bit of a nicer strategy, honestly. They are going to be coming up both sides, so like I said, it's going to be hard as hell to stay alive, hold on to the command post, but you just kind of do your best. And I can definitely see why, because of this, we are doing a lot better as the rebels than as the empire though again that's gonna be that's gonna be one of those things where oh shit behind us he still alive
Whoa! Alright, we might temporarily lose it. Oh, no. And of course, he destroyed the health droid. That's the one I need the most. But we managed to prevent them from taking the command post, so that's always a plus. I don't even have visible health. I do have the option of just turning around and switching to an engineer to... Well, I had the option. So that's going to be it for our strategic map overview of the Renvar Citadel. One of the most popular maps from the first game, and probably one of the most popular maps from the second game. I absolutely love playing on this map for just so many different reasons. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of chaos. There's not really a lot of uh, downtime as there are on some other maps. So it's it's just it's a perfect balance of chaos and harmony. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection comes out in just two weeks, so we hope to see you on the Battlefront.